and welcome everyone to Yo Center on the campus of Heston College. Rusty Witcher alongside Jared Slava. Jared, great to have you with me. Ah, oh, great to be here, man. We're going to have a good one in the house tonight on Community Night as Butler Community College here for this game with the Larks. And this should be an interesting one. Last year, these two teams played over in Butler at the power plant, and the Larks ended up losing by about 11. I think it was something like 104 to 93. Don't know if we'll see quite that high scoring of a fair tonight, but you never know. Uh, I'd be pretty surprised if, uh, if we were getting that close to triple digits for both teams, but I guess we'll see. Starting line for the Grizzlies, number one, a 6'2 freshman guard from Dakula, Georgia, Jawan White. Number three, a 6'5 uh, freshman guard from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Cameron Bryce. Number 12, a 6'2 freshman guard from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Jaden Lee. Number 25, a 6'4 freshman wing from Lake Oswego, Oregon, Emmanuel Allen. And number 33, a 6'8 freshman post from Richmond, Virginia, Tyrone Coley. The Grizzlies are coached by Brian Miller, assisted by Davion Poe and Cameron Parker. Starting lineup for the Larks tonight, number 11. A six-foot sophomore guard from Benton, Kansas, Cal Hartley. Number 12, a 6'1 sophomore guard from Brighton, Colorado, Braden Hancock. Number 23, a 6'2 sophomore guard from Salina, Kansas, Lucas Comfort. Number 25, a 6'4 sophomore forward from Lewisburg, Kansas, Grant Harding. And number 52, a 6'6 freshman forward from Plano, Texas, Derek McGee. Larks are coached by Dustin Gallion, assisted by Matt Hebert, Michael Stutt, Molly, Dallas Stutzman. And student assistant is Sam Jackson. Okay, that's a mouthful. Okay, Jared, you're in. Take okay. <laughs> well, something that I noticed that was very interesting looking at this lineup is um, for Butler, they only have one sophomore on the roster. Everyone else is a freshman. They do. They do. And sometimes you get a little bit of turnover, rapid roster turnover here from year to year. You never know. Sometimes, sometimes you'll have a, a very, a very sophomore-laden team. This is a very young team. Butler coming in at one and two. Larks three and zero. Oh. That's a pretty good start. Also looks like a lot of height on their roster. They have three players uh, that are 6'8". Well, one's not playing. I don't think you, I don't think you had the scratch. Uh, Christian Taylor is not suited up tonight, the 6'8 freshman. Ah, so. So here we go, guys. If you're a fan of the Grizzlies or a fan of the Larks, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a text or drop us a line. Send us a text at 620-217-1465. Again, that number is 620-217-1465. Or drop us a line, go larks at heston.edu. G O L A R K S at heston.edu. Remember, two S's in Heston. So we are pretty well set for action. Good. Got the clock cleared away. Sometime we'll figure out how we can synchronize that, maybe with new scoreboards. That would be nice. That would be very nice, yeah. Cal Hartley coming in, averaging over 22 points a game. He's had 22, 22, and 25. So far, Grant Harding right there, I think right about 20 points a game too. So two scores for the Larks. They're going to be tested tonight. We'll see what happens on the court. Larks will be back in action. Next broadcast is scheduled before Tuesday against Neosho Community College. They are playing Bethany JV, but I don't think we're going to have a broadcast on that one on Friday night with everything going on. Talent shows at 8 o'clock. I think everyone's going to be trying to get ready for that. So, yep, I believe so. That was kind of a late add to the schedule, the game against Bethany College JV. As we are ready for action, and jumping center will be Tyrone Coley, and he'll jump against Derek McGee. And the ball in the air, and the tip batted around loose. Derek has it, and then finally Butler tracks it down. That's an empty offense. Jawan White, White on the near side, looking for Jaden Lee. Jaden Lee driving his Cal Harley all the way in, kicks it in the corner, and that goes right through the hands of White and Butler commits the turnover. You know, for a bigger guy, Ger Derek's got some springs in those legs. Yes, he does. He's kind of slithery. Not sure if that's how I describe it, but uh, we'll roll with it. Cal Hartley bringing the ball up the floor. Cal trying to call the offense out, guarded by White. In the short corner, Derek on top, Grant Harding. Grant, back to Derek. Derek, I the three, driving. Derek has the ball poked away, and Butler comes up with a steal. And White the other way. White in the corner. The long jumper, and it's a three up and good for Emmanuel Allen. 
and Butler on the board first with a three. 19-13 to go first half here from Yo Center. Brayden Hancock handing off Cal Hartley. Cal, near side Lucas, Lucas driving back to Grant, Grant spins it back to Lucas, Lucas with 14 stepping through back to Grant. Grant from way downtown, that three rattling home and Grant Hardy knocks a three down and we're tied at three, 18.50 to go as White brings it back the other way. Juwan White, far side Allen, Allen has it taken away by Grant Hardy, Grant on the run out, Grant going all the way in and he is fouled by White, White guilty of the foul, he'll pick up his first and Grant will head to the free throw, line and shoot two. A lot of threes coming cooking early here. White picks up his first personal Grant foul. Was this uh, was this Kalen's water? Uh, no, that one's. Is that yours? That was mine. Yeah. Okay. The lid's open. That one's mine. Yep, that one's mine. It's cold. Grant knocks a free throw down. His second free throw coming up. I was put it behind because I'm afraid I'm going to knock it over. And we have way too much money invested up here. <laughs> yeah. Quite a bit of tech up here. Grant's free throw. Good. Grant knocks down both free throws. Grant has five. Larks in front, th five to three. 18.39 to go. Pretty good start for Grant here. That ball loose on the floor. Coley underneath and rolling it home. Coley with his first point of the ball game. We're tied up at five. 18.20 to go. Lucas on the far side. Lucas. Looking to drive in the corner to Cal. Cal trying to get separation. Snaps a pass to Lucas. They go down low. Derek. Derek works his way down. Slithers his way, but the shot will not go. Yes, I went with that on purpose. You know, I that, that was a pretty adequate description. <laughs> that was a nice move. Got right past the D. Bryce finding White here on the near side. Back on top. White. Looking to drive against Lucas Comfort. Pull up jumper for White. Misses. Rebound Grant Harding. Grant Skine for the rebound. He'll bring it back the other way. We're all knotted up at five points apiece. 17.38 to go. Cal eyed the three from way downtown. Changes his mind. Tries to wrap around to Brayden. Brayden picking it up. Brayden driving. Going down low. Brayden stopping. Swings it back out to Grant. Grant left it for his roommate. Cal from way downtown. Splashing down. Cal Harley has pretty much unlimited range, I think. Oh, As yeah. Knocks it down, and the Larks lead 8-5 to five with 17-14 to go here in the first court, first half. Lee back the other way, looking down low. Lee on top to White. White works the ball on the far side. Skip pass near side. Allen trying to drive, dishing back out. Jaden Lee from straight away. His three up and good. Jaden Lee answers back. We're all on it up at 8. As both teams have drained a couple of threes. Yeah, if there's one thing I've learned about Cal is that as soon as he steps onto that hardwood, he's in range. I think so. Cal in the corner, Derek. Derek driving all the way down. Derek has his pocket pick, but he's fouled. And the foul will be charged to Joan White. White picks up his first personal foul. John L. Fugit checking in the game. Checking in for Johnson County, John L. Fugit. And for the Larks, number one, Danny Bradley. Looks like uh, Derek's going to have a seat here. Danny and Sterling checking in the game for the Larks. 14, Sterling hits. Sterling, finding Braden Hancock. Braden on top, Danny Bradley Jr. Near side, Grant. Down low, Braden. Braden working. Braden gives it up. Grant Harding. Grant driving all the way in. Grant kicks it in the corner. Danny steps up, 15-footer from Danny up and good. A nice take from Danny on the baseline. Larks lead 10-8. to Great ball movement on that possession. Allen on the far side. Coley going to work down low, tries the dunk and misses. The stick back missing. Coley trying again, picked away from Danny Bradley and a thousand be charged to Butler. Very gutsy move to go for the dunk there. He almost had it though. It's kind of impressed. Davion Dennis checking in the lineup now for Same Butler. For I think I, I have to check. So I'd have to check, Jared, but I think the last time Butler came, 
they, or I think the last time Heston and Butler played outside of last year, mm -hmm. Butler put a pretty good beat down on Heston. It was in about the late 80s, early 90s, as Butler had the transfer from Kansas State, Galen Nickerson playing. Okay. Grant Hardy misses on the far side, and Coley gets it back. Grant nearly picked Coley's pocket. Snap pass in the corner. Allen trying to drive all the way down. Allen dishing down low. Ball loose. Coming up. Grant Harding. Grant the other way. Grant checking. Grant has his pocket pick. Never saw. Fugue the other way. Fugue driving. Dishing all the way in. And the layup up and good for Allen. We're all tied up at 10. 15-23 to go. Kind of a pace I expected. Yeah, up and down. Danny Bradley working. Sterling Hicks far side. Sterling. Back on top to Cal. Cal driving left for Braden. Braden dials up from deep. Operator, can you hear me? No connection there. And the rebound taken down by Dennis. Dennis the other way. Ahead to Coley. Coley goes up and lays on the easy dunk that time. And Butler has the 12 to 10 lead. Something tells me we're going to see that a couple times tonight. Cal Hartley. Near side, Danny Bradley. On top, Sterling Hicks, far side, Cal catch and shoot for Cal. That one's spinning off, and the rebound taken down by Acoli. 14.35 to go. Allen lets fly the three from the near side, misses, rebound Sterling Hicks. Lob ahead to Danny. Danny lays it up and cannot cash in. Danny just kind of caught that awkwardly. He didn't catch it clean. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It does. I like the effort. Getting into position there is probably the important part. Finishing would have been nice. Three from Jaden Lee. Lee knocks down his second three of the game. 18 to 10, our score. Excuse me. 15 to 10. Can't add. Don't mind me. <laughs> Cal Hartley, far side. Sterling Hicks. Sterling looking down. Sterling, quick release three from Sterling. Spins home. Sterling knocks a three down. Timeout taken by the Larks. Full timeout taken. We'll be back after this on the Lark Network. What? to try to create community. Enjoying the journey together, if you don't enjoy the journey, you're not going to enjoy the destination. And welcome back here to Yost Center, 1347 to go. Larks trailing by two. Butler with the basketball trying to extend their lead. Jaden Lee driving in, has it poked away. Jaden Lee gets it back. Lee working at Sterling Hicks. Giving up on the far side. Bounce pass down low, shot up and rolling home for Fofana. And Butler with a four point lead, 17-13. Bunch of switches here for the Larks coming in from the break. Reese Nebel's checked in, CR Curlis, and um, looks like Derek's back in the game. And Reese has a, his, the pocket picked, but it's out of bounds. Seventeen, thirteen, our score. And Reese to key it in. Reese giving off to Danny Bradley Jr. 
foul whistled away from the bucket. Good job of CR to get in position for the screen. Defender had to go right through him, and that is not a legal play. Foul was whistled on Dennis. He picks up his first 14 foul on the Grizzlies. Reese to bring it in. Looking, finding Danny Bradley Jr. Danny has a very quick first step. Sterling Hicks here on the near side. Sterling pulls the trigger again. That three will not drop, and the rebound pulled down by Fofana. Fofana ahead to Lee. Lee driving in. Lee handing off to Fugit. Fugit on the far side to Dennis. Dennis in the corner. Allen Allen goes down to Fugit. Fugit goes up, and a foul whistle. No, that's not a bad foul on Sterling. Yeah, no. And Butler will be at the stripe to shoot their first free throws of the night. Playing good defense, trying to prevent the layup. It's going to happen eventually. You're going to foul. So first foul on the Larks. That free throw good for Fugit. Second chance coming up. You get second free throw. They're talking something over about who's where or who's wearing what. Something like that. That free throw good for Fugit. Fugit knocks down both free throws. 19-13, our score, 12-37 to go. Danny Bradley Jr. near side to Reese Nebel. Derek, top of the circle. Sterling on the far side. Sterling tosses it away. Miscommunication from the Larks. Allen in a foot race. Reese Nebel cuts him off. Lee thought about the three, changed his mind, dumps it back to Lee. Le Lee left alone. His three missing, and the rebound C.R. Curlis. Danny ahead, Sterling on the far side. Sterling, quick release three by Sterling up and good. Sterling knocks his second three down in the large trail. 19-16, 12 2 to go in the first. Yeah, he's eating up pretty quick here. Allen with a nice move, spin inside, can't come up with it. Sterling goes down. Danny with it the other way. Danny racing, Danny driving, Danny spinning, Danny stripped. But the ball out of bounds off of Butler. Lucas Comfort, Cal Hartley checking back in the lineup. Cal Hartley and Lucas Comfort. So Dan or CR and Danny take or CR and Reese take a seat. Checking back in for the Grizzlies. Cameron Bryce checking Cameron back in the Bryce. lineup for the Grizzlies. Pretty good move defensively by CR to get to that shot and block it. As Sterling will bring it in from the baseline, making sure everyone's jersey's tucked in. Derek catching here. Straight away, Derek on top, Lucas. Clark's trail by three. Lucas, Cal Harley, Cal. Steps back, launches a three. That three misses, rebound. Front four, Derek with a rebound. Danny with a save. Picks it up, now gives off Lucas Comfort. Lucas driving all the way down low. Cal swings it to Sterling. Sterling has the hot hand. Sterling spinning his way out to Lucas. Lucas, quick three, his three off the mark, and the rebound pulled down by Jaden Lee. A lot of good ball movement there, just couldn't finish it up. As the ball over on Butler, that's Jaden Lee has it straight away. Jaden. Lee driving, spinning, in traffic. And a foul charge to the Larks with 11.09 to go, 11.01 to go. Derek picks up his first personal foul. Jane Lee at the free throw stripe to shoot two. Is the gym going quiet? Yeah. Free throw for Lee, missing. Good turnout tonight on Community Night. Free admission. Papa Shot has been nonstop over in the northwest corner of the gym. And the free haircuts in the southeast corner of the gym have been nonstop. Ah. Yeah, I've, I've no been noticing the Papa Shot. Got a, got a few kids over there at all times. Although a uh, strangely quiet crowd tonight, especially for how many people we have. Lee makes good on one of two, 20 to 16. Butler with a lead, under 11 to play. 
in our first half. Lucas on the far side. Lucas left it for Braden. Braden back to Sterling. Sterling eyed that three. He's knocked down a couple. Grant Harding. Grant driving all the way off the glass. Muscle that shot. Kind of forced a little bit. Rebound taken down by Butler. Fofana the other way. Fofana off the glass. In and out. Fofana gets his rebound. Sticks it up and in. Mohamed Fofana scoring his second field goal. Lucas the other way. Lucas back to Braden. Braden to Grant. Grant dials up from deep. His three will not drop. Fight for the loose ball. Out of bounds off of Butler will be Clark Basketball. Yeah, Grant's feeling pretty confident tonight. Knocked down one from out there earlier. And that's a shot for him that if he needs to knock down, he can be a matchup nightmare. Yeah. And, I mean, it's not, it's not out of his range for sure. Something that surprised me is... Um, how a lot of our big men on this team can step outside and shoot the three ball. Sterling lets the three go. That misses in the rebound. Hauled in by the Grizzlies. Fafana here on the near side. Fafana dials up from deep. His three spins off. Long rebound. Tracked down by Bryce on the far side. Bryce gets it back out to Fugit. Fugit will set the offense up for the Grizzlies as we go under 10 minutes. Dennis to Fugit the three up and good. Cameron Bryce knocks down a deep three. The fourth three of the contest for Butler. They've stretched a lead to nine. Timeout taken with 9.42 to go. 30 second timeout. And we'll be back after this on the next on the Mark Network. When we all work together to see what we can collaborate on and, and how things are going to work together. I really love that moment when I see a student finally connect with their character. I stop seeing them and I begin seeing the character. It was important for us to get a page up for managing the social media of the theater department, especially to show what's going on with the show, what's going on with future productions. I can go in any direction that I want. I want to give my best and I want to do my best here. What, you didn't say anything? I know, that's it. More? Back here to Yost Center as they're giving out free prizes, free drawings. I didn't sign up for anything, did you? Uh, I wish I would have known that it was happening. Oh. I was filming, though, earlier. 25 to 16, our score. Larks trailing by nine. Butler with a little bit of run here. Lucas, Sterling Hicks here. Sterling on the near side. Sterling. Has it taken away by Allen. Allen racing in, lays it up and good. Emmanuel Allen scores and Butler now with a quick 11 point lead. 27-16. Lucas all the way in and a blocking foul whistled on Allen. Yeah, just a half step too late there on the defense. Grant Harding checking back in the lineup for the Larks. Stern will take a seat. Wiping up the floor there where Allen went down. I wonder how much popcorn they go through on the night like tonight. That's a great question. Better question is how much of it did they burn? Did smell like a little, a batch did get pretty burned. Yeah. An illegal screen against the Larks. Sierra picks up his first personal foul. foul. Yeah, first just sliding his foul. feet a little bit there on that one. Jay Have to be set Larks. when you set that screen, can't yeah. move. Yep. And they're not gonna give you the benefit of the doubt on it either. 27 to 16, the score. As the 
Larks trail here by 11. Trying to turn that corner was Fugit. Fugit missing. Follow, no good. Fight for the loose ball on the floor. Brayton Hancock has it. And bodies flying everywhere. Possession arrow will go to the Larks. Some good hustle right there. It was great hustle yeah. by everybody involved and just good hard hustle. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Makes for good, exciting basketball. That it does. Going to wipe down the floor here again. They reset the shot clock. Just double checking on the shot clock. Watch the ball, Cam. Lucas Cover here on the near side. Nice little spin move to get open there. I like that. Cal Hartley giving off Lucas. Lucas. Working. Goes behind his back. Lucas still with a dribble. Lucas driving. Grant Hardy. Backs out Cal. Ten now on the clock for Cal. Cal driving all the way in and lost it going out of bounds. Twenty-seven sixteen. Larkson a bit of a drought here. Yeah. With 8.25 to go. Grant with a steal. Grant skirting down the sideline. Grant. Driving, jump stop, goes up with the left hand, high off the glass, will not roll. In and Butler with a rebound. Dennis here on the near side. Dennis racing, trying to pick up the tempo. Dennis in the corner. Cameron Bryce lets the three go, eyed it, and then knocks it down. Five threes now for Butler. And that's the difference in the game. Almost, Lark's trail 30 to 16. Yeah, those three pointers are really starting to add up. Cal to answer back in, does his three good. Larks have hit five threes so far. Larks have been non-existent down low as they have yet to score in the paint. Oh, wow. Is that uh, Cal's third or second? Second. Second, second three okay. by Cal. They give it up to Allen. Allen, 15-footer from the elbow, rolls home. Allen with nine, and it's 32-19. to 19. Braden Hancock working on the far side. Braden giving up back here on the near side to Grant. Grant drives down low, steps out, swings it on top to Cal. Cal from way downtown. Good! Cal Perry oh, wow. from way downtown. That was almost from a different area code. <laughs> That's Steph Curry range right there. And Cal knocks his third three down of the contest. As Butler with it on the far side. They give it down low. Shot off the glass, up and in for Fafana. 34 to 22, Larks trail by a dozen. Cal trying to set the offense up. Down to Derek. Derek gives it to Cal. Cal down low. Steps through, rolls a nobody home. Yeah, it looks like he just got bumped just a hair when he was going to pass the ball and lost track of it. Jaden Lee checks in the lineup. Danny Bradley checks back in the lineup for the Larks. 6.26 to go. Larks trailing 34-22. Pace has slowed down. Yeah, quite a bit. A lot of uh, pace and space basketball being played here looking for the open three. 34-22, as we said, 6.26. Butler with the basketball on the 12-point advantage. Do you get a high post? Fafana, Fafana looking down. Fafana just inside the arc. The long jumper misses. Rebound to Butler as Golden with the rebound. The, the long two up and good for Cameron Bryce. Bryce with eight. Back to a 14-point lead, 36-22. to 22. Danny Bradley. Heading off to Cal Hartley. Cal knocked a three down from that volleyball standard right there. Derek. Back on top of Grant. Grant looking to drive. Grant to Derek. Derek thought about a three. Steps in with six. Grant will try the three. His three in and out. Rebound. Derek. Derek works his way down. That shot will not go in the works. Drought from inside the arc or inside the paint still remains. Yeah. Jaden Lee driving down the other way. Stepping through. And Jaden Lee took too many steps. Yeah, it seems like the Larks are really struggling to deal with their size here early on. I mean, this is a very lengthy Butler team that they're playing against. 
36-22, 5.24 to go. Danny Bradley, far side Cal Hartley. Cal stepping through, backs now Grant Harding. Grant left it for Danny. Danny thought about a three, steps back, changes his mind. Danny driving Danny in the corner to Braden. Braden closed out defensively. Braden gets it back with seven, and Braden took too many steps. Sterling Hicks checking in the lineup. Sterling Hicks. So Sterling will check in with 5.03 to go. Lark's down by 14? Yep. 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 Okay. 36-22, 5.03 to go. And I will say this much. These might be the longest uniforms I've ever seen, longest jersey tops I've ever seen a basketball team have in Butler. These are long uniform tops. <laughs> yeah. They remind me of like those uh, those old early 2000s jerseys, like uh, like young Kobe Bryant days. Fofana scores. 38-22, 4.42 to go. Grant gives off Danny Bradley. Danny giving back to Cal. Cal hammered there on this screen. Fofana picks up the foul. Coach calling out the offense here. 4.34 to go. As Allen checking in. Danny Bradley, no one home on the inbounds play, and the Larks toss it away. Thirty-eight, twenty-two, sixteen-point advantage for the Larks, or excuse, for the Grizzlies over the Larks. As Jaden Lee works his way down, Lee steps through off the glass, no good. Rebound tipped around. Danny Bradley pokes down. Danny Bradley ahead to Sterling. Sterling trying to give it back in traffic. Sterling gives it to Derek. Back to Danny. Danny along to his two misses and the rebound missing as the Larks have not scored in the paint yet tonight. Allen fires a three from the corner. That misses badly and the rebound pulled off by Grant Harding. Grant the other way and Grant's bumped. Yeah, defender just second late there. Foul whistled on Jaden Lee. Lee picks up his first personal foul. His first personal foul, seventh team foul. We are in bonus now, so Larks are going to head to the line. Grant's free throw. Good. Checking back in for Butler, Janelle Fugit. Janelle Fugit checking back in. As we said, the Larks. Grant knocks down. The jumper, or the free throw rather, Grand now with seven points, 38-24, Larks trail by 14, 3.55 to go. Lee driving all the way in over Derek McGee, up and good. And every time the Larks have had something, Butler has had a counter punch, followed by a haymaker. Yeah, it's um, a lot of offense coming hard and fast from them tonight. Cal the long two, in and out, and the rebound pulled in by the Grizzlies, and a foul whistled. Derek picks up his second personal foul. Larks just seem kind of a step slow tonight. Three twenty-eight to go. Butler with the 40-24 lead. A foul whistled on the Larks. Danny Bradley picks up his first personal foul. His first personal foul, 15 foul. You know, I'm getting a sense reading his face that he doesn't agree with that foul. They 
They check the making sure the shot clock's all set. Quick pass inside. Allen spins his way to two. Allen off the glass, up and good. Emmanuel Allen with 11. 42 to 34. Three minutes to go. Lark's trailing by 18. Slip screen. Allen in the corner. Reese drives a three. Reese's three missing. And the rebound pulled down by Butler. That runner misses the rebound. Stick back up. Blocked by Grant Harding. Fight for the loose ball. And a tie up. With a tie up. Getting a little chippy down, Mo. Butler saving on the possession arrow. I'm going to get a towel here and wipe the floor. 2.43 to go. Larks, as we said, Jared, they have not scored in the paint. Everything has been outside from 15 feet. A lot of three balls as well, which is, I mean, kind yeah. of keeping us in this game just a bit, but... It's starting to, they're starting to pull away from us. As you can see in the background there, the Papa shot is popping. Oh yeah. Free haircuts have been going on all night long too. And where are those at? Southeast corner right over here. Oh, back there, okay. Uh -huh. Back by the drinking fountains. Okay. See, when you say Southeast corner, that doesn't really register for me. Okay, we are looking, if we look straight, the, the gym sits east-west. Does that help? The floor ah. sits east-west. Okay. And then uh, north is away from Newton, so yeah, okay. <laughs> Reese Debo coming away with a loose ball on the far side, Cal Harley. Cal spinning in the corner, Reese has it poked away, and a foul from behind on Jaden Lee, and Reese Debo will be at the free throw line to shoot a one-on-one. Reese's first trip to the line here tonight. Reese has quite the fan club. Yes, he does. Uh, being a local boy, I think um, a lot of his friends like to come out and cheer for him. I noticed that Monday night there mm -hmm. he had a whole crowd. So Reese at the free throw stripe. Also got a fan club on campus, though. I know he's very popular. Reese knocks down the first free throw. Second chance coming at the charity line. Certainly helps keep us all awake during a 9 a.m. count class. Oh. Yep. The second free throw for Reese is good. The only thing worse than a 9 a.m. class is an 8 a.m. class. <laughs> yeah. 42 to 26, our score, 2.22 to go. Dennis tries a three. His three misses. That goes up and hits the standard out of bounds. Goes back to the Larks. With 2.16 to go. Danny bringing the ball up the court here. Danny crossing the forecourt. Near side, Reese. Reese working. CR on the far side. Back to Danny. Danny trying to turn the corner. Danny has it poked away. Gets it back with six on the shot clock. Danny. Driving, back to Grant. Grant, the three to beat the shot clock, does. That one hits everything. That one bounces out and saved by Butler. Dennis swings it over on the far side. Golden, back to Coley. Coley, and you back. In the corner, Allen driving down low, rolls it down low. Coley goes up and dumps it in. Minute 10 to go. And a foul whistled away from the basketball on Coley. Yep, trying to get CR out of the way there and just uh, give, give him a bit of a nudge. Fofana checking in. 44 to 26, a minute 10 to go. Shooting one and one. 
So Danny at the free throw line. Is this his uh, first trip tonight? And he knocks it down, yes. Okay. Second chance coming off the one and one. That free throw, good. Danny makes good on both free throws. 44-28. They're catching up with the Larks have to do here. They snap a pass down low, rolls off of Danny Bradley. You could keys it in. As that shot missing, rebound tipped around, pulled down by the Larks. Cal the other way. Cal racing all the way in, has it taken away, and a foul whistled, and Cal will shoot free throws. He'll be at the stripe to shoot two. Yeah, Larks in double bonus now. Fugit picks up his first personal foul. And Cal's free throw spins out. Sterling Hicks checks in the lineup. 47.9 seconds to go. Cal makes good on one of two. 10 now for Cal. Far side, Golden. Golden driving down. Golden goes up, missing, rebound pulled in. Fafana shot, can't follow. Butler crashing the glass, the stick back up and good for Golden. 46 to 29. Mark trailing by 17. Shot and game clock about the same here, 20 seconds. Danny. They're setting up the offense, giving it to Cal. Cal with 10. Cal crossing over in the corner. Danny stepping back. The three from Danny is good. Danny knocks a three down. And that will do it at the end of the first half. Larks trail 46 to 32. We'll be back after this with the start of the second half on the Lark Network. When we all work together to see what we can collaborate on and, and how things are going to work together. I really love that moment when I see a student finally connect with their character. I stop seeing them and I begin seeing the character. It was important for us to get a page up for managing the social media of the theater department, especially to show what's going on with the show, what's going on with future productions. I can go in any direction that I want. I want to give my best and I want to do my best here.
generation is on the forefront because of different discoveries in genetics and chemistry. I have a professor that's passionate about it. It helps me kind of realize the potential of the field. What are problems that you, as you grow up as students, are going to have to deal with? And the more informed you can be, the better prepared you're going to be. There's this constellation of different interests that students often have and are able to move out and, and head in different directions.
And welcome back here to Yo Center. A game where the Larks are shooting just 30%, Butler shooting 46%, but Jared, the telling stat here is the Larks have yet to score in the paint. Yeah, that's a problem. Larks have yet to score in the paint. Got a text saying, let's go Larks, you can do that. They can, they're down by 14. Biggest comeback I've ever seen. I believe the Larks were down by 18 at 1.1 game, came all the way back. Okay. So they trailed one time in one of the best games I ever saw, 16. Yeah, I mean, 14 point lead, it's not unimaginable to see a comeback. They're just definitely gonna have to go all out in this half. Get a lot of buckets and a lot of defensive stops. They have to do that. Larks trail and Butler with the basketball. Juwan White, near side to Jaden Lee. Jaden Lee on the far side, dumping down. They try and run the alley-oop and Lucas Comfort just takes it away. Lucas with the basketball. Yeah, good job to get in the way of that one. And Lucas trying to set that offense up. Grant Harding, Grant driving all the way in. Grant knife in the bucket, draws a foul, and Grant will shoot a pair of free throws. Grant Harding had seven points. Cal Hartley had 10. Allen picks up his second personal foul. Grant Harding at the line, shooting two. Delay and warning for huddling on Butler. What does that mean? Uh, you can't huddle now after something like that because it's a delay. There, it's a point of emphasis this year. Okay. And Is if they do it again, it'll be a technical foul. As Grant Harding rolls the free throw home. Is that one of those things to keep the pace of the game moving? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Second free throw coming up. Boo Ruiz has joined us here at the table. Br Boo was. Instagramming all the Butler guys. I saw that. Second free throw up and good for Grant. And you don't even give her a mic to defend her. No, huh? Her. No, you no. It, this is this is this. It's open season if you come to the broadcast table. <laughs> Forty-six to thirty-four. The score. The three from the corner. Up and good as Jaden Lee knocks a three down and it's back a 15 point advantage. 19.21 to go here as Grant has it. Three from Derek, missing rebound. Thoughtful. Grant gets it back and Grant scores inside. The first bucket inside for the Larks in the paint in the game comes at the 1904 mark. Yeah, great hustle by Grant to get to that one too. I mean, Really crashing the boards and getting the steal. As White tries to turn the corner on the far side. White driving in, dishing in the corner. Allen, Allen stepping through. Allen back to Coley. Coley's jumper misses, rebound Lucas Comfort. Here come the Larks, a chance to cut into this lead further. And Lucas driving. And he'll reset the offense. Braden Hancock giving back. Near side. As stepping through, Grant Hardy knifing to the bucket and scores. And the Larks have come out in the second half and gone to a renewed effort to get the ball inside. And they've quickly trimmed the lead to 11. Yeah, two quick buckets inside. Grant's going to town down there. And all the way in, the shot the other way, misses, rebound. Grant, here comes Grant the, on the run out. Larks have numbers four and three. Grant goes in, lays it up, rolls it home. The blocking foul, the basket counts, and Grant Harding will shoot the free throw as Grant Harding has come alive. Six points in just under two minutes. Timeout taken by Butler. We'll be back after this on the Lark Network. Generation is on the forefront because of different discoveries in genetics and chemistry. I'd have a professor that's passionate about it. It helps me kind of realize the potential of the field. What are problems that you, as you grow up as students, are gonna have to deal with? And the more informed you can be, the better prepared you're gonna be. There's this constellation of different interests that students often have and are able to move out and, and head in different directions. No, 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 see, no, huh? No, that
that happens every semester. The students actually do their own cooking. They also coordinate songs, coordinate dances. It gives our students a chance to say, these are the things that are great about my home country that I could bring to you. Is it true? Is it true? <laughs> FTMO? Yeah, okay. Don't say that. Welcome back to Yo Center here on the campus of Heston College. You were safe there, Rusty. I had you muted. Thank time. you. Appreciate it. We're... Oh, we got a loose ball on the floor here. And Larks have come out on fire here in the second half. Grant Harding has all eight points for the Larks. Yeah. He's looking like he's ready to take this game over pretty quickly. So he said he's got eight already? Eight. Chance to go to nine. Eight points in two minutes. Nine points in two minutes, potentially. Free throw coming up for Grant. And that one spins out. The rebound pulled down by Coley. Eighteen minutes to play here in the contest. Larks have trimmed the lead to nine. As... Fugit driving on the far side, getting back out to Camber Bryce. Bryce near side to White. White. Working on the far side, White. Back on top, the three by Jaden Lee, up and good. Lee knocks a three down. Jaden Lee with 15 points now. Butler was five of nine in the first half shooting threes. Lucas Comfort. Works it over, Grant Harding on the far side, Grant. And a foul away from the basketball on Coley. Coley picks up his third personal foul. I gotta say, number three kind of looks like a young Zach Levine. Do you see it? No, I don't. No? Okay. They reset the shot clock to 20. Well, hopefully he doesn't play like a young Zach Levine. Because we might be in trouble there. As Brayton Hancock to key it in from the baseline, looking. Finding Derek, Derek stepping back. I had the three for a second, changes his mind. Brayton on the far side. Derek McGee, McGee off the jumper. Short rebound, White, White the other way. Back out, now swings over. Coley eyes the long two, off the glass, up and good. The bank is open for Tyrone Coley. Back to 14 as it's a five, quick five nothing run here by Butler. Lucas the other way. Lucas driving in in the corner. Braden can't hang on to it. Yeah, just like Kalen was saying earlier, that ball had some high velocity to it. Danny and Sterling checking in the lineup. Jaden Lee on the far side. Jaden Lee stepping through, backs it out. White thought about a three. He'll drive, now changes his mind back to Cameron Bryce. Bryce backs out. Bryce has 15. Skips it out. Far side, Fugit. Fugit driving in. Fugit has a stripped away by Cal Hartley. Cal leading Derek on the far side. Derek can't hang on to it. It's off of Derek and out of bounds. Some brilliant defensive anticipation there by Cal, though. Fifty-four to forty. Sixteen minutes to go. That one misses the rebound pulled in. Derek hands it to Grant. Grant ahead to Sterling. Lark's very good job on the save. Sterling driving all the way in. Sterling goes off the glass, draws a foul. Sterling will shoot a pair. That would have been a very saucy and one had he made that. Absolutely would have been. Rice picks up his first personal foul. And Sterling Hicks will be at the free throw line where he'll shoot two. Sterling spins the first free throw home. Seven now for Sterling. The sophomore from St. Joseph's, Missouri. The second free throw good for Sterling. Eight now for Sterling. Marks trail by 12, 54 to 42. 
as Juwan White driving down low, shot up and in, and the basket counts for Tyrone Cooley. The foul charged to Derek. Derek picks up his third personal foul. Butler getting it done in the paint tonight. Well, he got the stripe to shoot the free throw. Free throw for Coley, up and good. 11 for Coley, 57-42, Larks trail by 15 with 15.36 to play. Grant Harding spinning his way high off the glass, and that'll be a goaltend. Grant Harding scores off the glass. There we go again, Grant picking up a couple more points. Grant with 10 and a half, 17 for the game. Jaden Lee, back on top, Fugit. Fugit rubs off, far side, Fugit now backs out, Jaden Lee. Lee back on top, from way downtown, White barely grazes iron and the rebound falls in the hands of Sterling Hicks. Danny Bradley Jr. Setting the offense up. Hands off Cal Harley. Harley trying to turn the corner, pulls up from straight away. Three misses. Rebound pulled in by Coley. Coley ahead to Lee. Quick pass down low. Coley goes up, tries to dunk and misses, and a foul will be charged to CR. Check that, the foul on Danny Bradley Jr. And Coley at the free throw stripe where he'll shoot two. He's one for one tonight. Free throw. Missing by Coley. Second free throw coming up. Coley's getting this looking like. Six in the first half. A couple more now. That free throw misses. Rebound Grant Harding. Coley with 11 total, 57-44, Larks trail by 13. They hedge against Cal Hartley. Cal rolls at Sterling. Sterling has it here on the near side. Sterling trying to drive all the way. Goes in high off the glass, missing. And Coley comes up with a rebound. Backing out. The jumper up and good. But they wave it off. They wave the bucket off and Bryce with the charge. Foul was whistled on Coley, excuse me. Coley picks up his fourth personal foul. That really got the crowd riled up in here. 57-44, Danny accelerating all the way in. Danny goes off the glass, up and good. Danny Bradley is scoring. And the Larks trail by 11. Now Danny's got a pretty explosive first step yes, there. Yes, he does. And then Coley, his, his second his way away. down, shot up and in. Tyrone Coley scores down low. And they answer back, the Grizzlies do. Cal Hartley here on the near side. Cal in the corner, Sterling. Sterling driving, spinning, ball fake, cuts the bucket and rolls it in and out. And the rebound pulled down by Coley. Coley outlet pass on the far side. Fugit the other way. Fugit racing all the way in. His shot up and good. Fugit with a nifty up and under move. And it's quick 4-0 run. Pushes the lead back to 61-46. Grant gives up Danny. Danny back to Cal. Cal left alone the three. Going to be off the mark. And the rebound pulled down by Cameron Bryce. Under 13 to go. White. Driving, now he'll change his mind, backs out to Bryce. Bryce calling out the offense. Giving up here on the near side. White trying to drive, he'll pull the trigger, his jumper up and good. Juwan White 
with his first bucket. A timeout, 30-second timeout taken by the Larks. We're back after this. On it happens every semester. The students actually do their own cooking. They also coordinate songs, coordinate dances. It gives our students a chance to say, these are the things that are great about my home country that I could bring to you. College was the best decision that I could have made for the first two years of college. I'm a go-getter, a thinker, I like to be challenged, and I'm getting all that here at Heston. I'm living in a mod with people from all around the world, which is feeding my thirst for a broader worldview. I'm on a first name basis with my teachers, which is really emphasizing this community that is so present at Heston. And so I'm really glad that I chose to start here at Heston College because I've been given the tools and the mindset to go everywhere. And welcome back here to Yo Center. With 12.40 to go. Oh, pardon me. Let me fix that score real quick. 63-46 our score. see some of our uh, Reese's fan club out there in the crowd holding up signs. They're talking something over about a foul here. So they're talking about who the foul was on on the charge. Foley checking in. Uh, there was some confusion on a foul. Yeah, I think they were saying that um, they were saying it was on Bryce. The they were, and they, they sixty-three to forty-six. Our score with twelve forty to go. Larks with the basketball, and they trail by seventeen. Sterling Hicks looking to drive, pushed away from by Fofana. Reese Neal dumps it down low. Stur dumps it down low, and the ball poked away by Butler. Bucks coming in off the baseline here. As Reese looking to lob it in and find CR, back to Sterling. Sterling, Danny Bradley. Lucas in traffic. Back to Sterling. Sterling, the three. His three short. Rebound in the corner. Tracked down by White. And White accelerating down the floor. Swings over his head to Fugit. Fugit, he'll try his three. His three up, missing. Rebound, Danny Bradley Jr. And Danny will bring the ball back the other way. 12 to go. Larks trailing here. Need a bucket. Yeah, definitely could use one. Danny lost it off of the foot and out of bounds. It's off of Butler, they said. Cal Hartley checks in the lineup. Grant Harding, Derek McGee, and Braden Hancock in. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock for the Larks. I thought it reset to 15 off kickball. It wasn't kicked. They said it was just a deflection. Ah. Okay. Right here on the near side with nine, with eight, with seven to Sterling. Sterling driving, knifing, dishing to Derek. Nobody home, loose on the floor. Sterling to beat the shot clock, does not. The rebound pulled down by Butler. Sterling with a steal on the far side. Marks have numbers. Cal Hartley racing all the way in, high off the glass, missing. And the rebound pulled in by White. White the other way. White to Lee. Lee tries a three. Lee's three misses. Rebounds. Grant Hardy. So no real scoring from either team here for 
It's been about a minute and a half since we've had any points scored. Yeah. Not for a lack of trying, though. Oh, absolutely. And I'm sure the Larks are really hoping that they can get a bucket here. Grants three misses. Kymer Bryce the other way with the, with the step of foul before the shot. Foul whistled on Sterling Hicks. Sterling picks up his second personal foul. His second personal foul, third team foul. Shot clock. <laughs> Moving to 24. Bryce, far side, Lee. Lee looking down. I'll back it away. Bryce swings it back on top. Joan White. Near side, Bryce. Bryce looking down. They lob it on top to White. White goes down low. Nobody home. Last touch by the Larks. Out of bounds. Whoa, they're going to talk it over. Check that, they talk it over and they give the ball to the Larks with 10.37 to go. You know, I, I might have to agree with them reviewing that one. Well, that's, that's what you like, communication between officials. The far oh. side official came in, said, I had a better view. Let's oh, talk yeah. it over, this is why I saw this, okay, all right. Oh, for sure, and I mean, that's why we have more than one official on the floor because just sometimes the angle of how the players are standing makes it uh, Grant Harding looking, eyeing the three, from, now gives it down to Derek. Derek goes up, his shot blocked, Derek gets it back. Goes down, Derek off the glass, up and good. And Derek's first bucket of the ball game coming down low. 63 to 48, Larks trailing by 15. Grant with a steal, Grant racing down. Grant shakes behind him. Grant goes in and goes oh! home. Grant Harding Out throws down. 63 to 50, 10.03 to go. Timeout taken here. College was the best decision that I could have made for the first two years of college. I'm a go-getter, a thinker, I like to be challenged. I'm getting all that here at Heston. I'm living in a mod with people from all around the world, which is feeding my thirst for a broader worldview. I'm on a first name basis with my teachers, which is really emphasizing this community that is so present at Heston. And so I'm really glad that I chose to start here at Heston College because I've been given the tools and the mindset to go everywhere. Welcome back here to Yost Center on the campus of Heston College. 10.02 to go here. Timeout taken by Butler. Mark's trailing by 13 now, able to trim that lead just a bit. We were That's kind of where you want to be. You want to be, at, you'd like to be under 10 at the media timeout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were, uh, what were we coming into the break? Was it? At halftime? Yeah. We're down by, we were down at halftime by 14. 14, okay. As Fugit giving off to White. White here on the near side. Snap pass across. A three from the corner. Spinning off. Rebound Derek. Here come the Larks with 9.48 to go. Cal Hartley calling out the offense. Cal had 10 points in the first half. Has not scored in the second half. As Grant backing away. Grant left it for Sterling. Sterling to three. Sterling three splashing down. Sterling Hicks knocks down a three. His third of the contest. He now has 11. And it's 63 to 53. Larks trail by 10. 9.20 to go. They'll go up top to Thorne who checked in the game. The jumper. Misses rebound Braden Hancock. Sterling another three. He checked three. Sterling misses. White with it. Looking to drive White all the way in traffic. Foul. Offensive foul called.
Yeah, looks like they're going to rule the charge. Foul time, the charge called. Media timeout. We'll be back after this on the Art Network. is on the forefront because of different discoveries in genetics and chemistry. I'd have a professor that's passionate about it. It helps me kind of realize the potential of the field. What are problems that you as you grow up as students are going to have to deal with and the more informed you can be the better prepared you're going to be. There's this constellation of different interests that students often have and are able to move out and, and head in different directions. And welcome back to Yo Center on the campus of Heston College. 8.55 to go, 63 to 53 our score. Lark's trail by 10, it'll be Lark basketball coming out of timeout. Cal bringing the ball up the court here. Cal City up the offense, trying to give it over to Brayden. Brayden with it. Brayden giving it to Sterling. Sterling swings it to Cal. Cal has yet to score in the second half. Back on top, Grant with 13 on the shot clock. Grant working down. Back to Cal. Three by Cal. Cal's three. Good. Cal buries the three from outside. And the Larks have trailed by seven. 63 to 56. 8.20 to go. Uh, the jumper up and good. Down low for... I'm not even uh, sure. Fug Fug Fugit, thank Fugit. you. Okay. Did not want to butcher that name. Now, so. Grant Harding goes to the bucket with the left hand and scores. Grant Harding has been a man on a mission with 16 points in this half, 23 for the contest. Just an explosion of offense and from And Lark's him. trail by 7, 7 65-58, 7.39 to go. As driving down low, ball picked away, a foul whistled away from the basketball. Foul charge to Derek. Derek picks up his fourth personal foul. Derek picks up his personal. Yeah, that's his fourth, so he's going to be sitting for a bit. White in traffic. Drives it back out. The jumper, in and out, rebound, deflecting off, and there's a foul, and a foul dunk missed down low by Thorne. Stick, stick back up, no good. CR picks up his second personal foul. And Allen at the free throw stripe to shoot two like some communication between coach and his players there. It's always nice to see. So 7.07 to go. Lars trailing here and Allen at the free throw stripe. His first trip to the line tonight. And that free throw spins off. Second free throw coming up. Hold 
Free throw misses and the rebound. Tipped off of Butler. No, save off of they save off of CR. Reese Neville checks in the lineup now. Nolark's only down by seven now. But Butler will have the basketball as it rolled off of the Larks. Quick pass to Fugit. Fugit calling on the offense. Fugit from Denver, Oklahoma. Driving in, the layup up and good for Fugit. Fugit scores and it's Larks trailing by nine. Cal heading off. Braden Hancock, Braden. Gives it back to Cal, 17 on the shot clock. Cal, spinning, screen set. It's Cal giving it up, Braden. Braden driving, backs it out. Braden, from way downtown, Braden's three, misses, rebound, tipped around, loose. Butler has a white coming out of the pack. Ahead, near side, Fugit, skips it all the way across. Golden thought about the three. His floater from eight up and good. Should be golden. A timeout taken by the Larks. We'll be back after this on the Lark Network. Generation is on the forefront because of different discoveries in genetics and chemistry. I have a professor that's passionate about it. It helps me kind of realize the potential of the field. What are problems that you, as you grow up as students, are going to have to deal with? And the more informed you can be, the better prepared you're going to be. There's this constellation of different interests that students often have and are able to move out and, and head in different directions. College was the best decision that I could have made for the first two years of college. I'm a go-getter, a thinker, I like to be challenged, and I'm getting all that here at Heston. I'm living in a mod with people from all around the world, which is feeding my thirst for a broader worldview. I'm on a first name basis with my teachers, which is really emphasizing this community that is so present at Heston. And so I'm really glad that I chose to start here at Heston College, because I've been given the tools and the mindset to go everywhere. Yo Center on the campus of Heston College, 6.14 to go here. 69 to 58, our score. As it'll be Lark basketball. They trail by 11. It's been a quick little run here by Butler. And you kind of see that every time the Larks feel like it, Butler hits a couple shots, Larks come back. We'll see if the clock becomes an issue here, Jared. Yeah, it's been pretty back and forth here. But. Um, Butler once again pulled ahead there. Foul whistled on Fugit. And Cal will shoot a one on one. Butler foul on number four, Janelle Fugit. His second Fugit picks up his foul, second. Foul. So Cal will be at the stripe to shoot a one on one. A lane violation, Derek came out and they'll wave the free throws off. All right, then. Derek walked out of the after they handed the ball to Cal and it was a lane violation. They said he walked across the three point line? Yeah, you can't leave the lane after that and he so he left his spot. It's a lane violation. White oh, okay. drives all the way. His scoop shot missing a foul. Heston foul on number one, Danny Bradley. His third personal Danny foul. Danny Bradley picks up his foul. third personal foul. And Jawan White at the stripe to shoot free throws. His first trip to the line tonight. Very interesting here, taking his uh, free throw from the corner of the free line. Free throw up and good for White. Got a couple oohs and ahs out of the crowd for that one. 
That free throw good. White makes good on both free throws. Large trail by 13. It's a 6 nothing run here by Butler. And Butler showing full court pressure. Cal, excuse me, Grant Harding. Back to Cal Hartley. Short corner, Derek McGee. Derek working. Back to Sterling. Sterling driving through to Derek, to Danny in the corner. Danny's three short. And the rebound saved by Butler. Here come the Grizzlies on the run. Fuka has a bounce off of Sterling Hicks. Sterling tracking it down. Sterling keeps it alive. Sterling racing all the way down. Dishing Danny Bradley. Lays it up and good. Danny Bradley scores. And the Larks trail by 11. Well, Great punch. assist by Sterling. Yeah, for real. A little bit of punch-counterpunch punch action here. On top, White giving off. Fofana back to White. White. Pull up jumper from White. It's up. It's good. Juwan White knocks the jumper down. It's back to a 13 point lead, 73 to 60. Something that I've noticed that's very interesting from Sterling in this game is how well they shoot the mid range jumper. And that's um, that's a bit of a lost art these days, isn't it, Rusty? Yes, it is. The lost art. Yeah. Grant driving in, dishing to Derek. Derek. Going to work down low, draws a double team, muscle a shot up, spinning in and out. Rebound Danny Bradley out to Grant Harding. Grant dials up a three, missing in the rebound, hauled in by the Grizzlies of Butler. Here come the Grizzlies. Butler as White racing in, the basket up. It will count for Juwan White. Both teams in bonus now. And just like that. They pull away just a little bit farther. Time not taken by the Larks. Full college was the best decision that I could have made for the first two years of college. I'm a go-getter, a thinker, I like to be challenged, and I'm getting all that here at Heston. I'm living in a mod with people from all around the world, which is feeding my thirst for a broader world view. I'm on a first name basis with my teachers, which is really emphasizing this community that is so present at Heston. And so I'm really glad that I chose to start here at Heston College because I've been given the tools and the mindset to go everywhere. Put that there. Yeah. Generation is because of different discoveries in genetics and chemistry. I have a professor that's passionate about it. It helps me kind of realize the potential of the field. What are problems that you, as you grow up as students, are going to have to deal with? And the more informed you can be, the better prepared you're going to be. There's this constellation of different interests that students often have and are able to move out and, and head in different directions. No, that's a scar. That's the disease. Welcome happen? back to Yost Center on the college campus of Heston College. 4.14 to go, 75 to 61. I have a bad feeling, Jared. Boo's going to steal my red pen. She's she's going to take your red pen? Yeah, she's going to take my red pen, yep. Well, why not your blue pen? Well, because she has the red pen, and oh. I don't know. I, I think she's going to take it. That would be absolutely tragic, Rusty. What will you do without your red pen? I don't know what they're talking about. So, so White at the free throw stripe. Free throw misses by White. Rebound by Fofana. His shot misses. He'll try again. That's stripped away by Cal Harley. Cal with a run out the other way. Larks have a quick break. Cal all the way down. And his pocket's flat picked. White the other way. White crossing up under four to go. Larks trail by 14. Back door to alley -oop. They tried to get the ball to Coley, and that goes right through the wickets on the save. Sterling hicks the other way. Sterling stops and pops a three. Missing, and the rebound tracked down. Sterling had it for a second. Coley has it. Sterling steals it, goes up, and can't cash in. Three and a half to go. Chitty Golden missing. And Golden will be at the free throw stripe to shoot two. That's a foul on 25, Grant Harding. 
Grant picks up his first personal foul. He's played this many minutes without fouling? Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's a solid night on the defensive end. Yeah. And on the offensive end, too. Golden Saritra spins off, misses. He's up to how many points now? Who? Uh, no, uh, Grant. Grant has 21. That shot up the basket, counting for Butler. And Grant picks up his second free throw, the second foul. Fofana at the free throw stripe to shoot one for the chance for the and one. It's good for Fofana, 78 to 61. Wars got it all the way down. Jared, it was seven points, right? Seven points. It was 65-58. Uh, it's a 13-3 run here by Butler. Yep, and now they're up by 17. 17. Yep. Grant driving, drives a foul. Fofana picks up his third. Grant will be at the free throw line to shoot two. Grant's free throw spinning off. Grant's missed his last two after being perfect at the free throw stripe. Yeah, even the best players will miss free throws, so. It is sure nice to make them, though. The second free throw misses, and the rebound pulled down by Butler. As Fugit giving off to White. White on the far side. White. Driving, kicks it in the corner, Lee catching, spins it out. A shot muscled up by Fofana, can't find the way, range. Fofana, second chance missing. He stick back up and good for Coley. 81 to six, 80 to 61, Lark's trail. Sterling, the quick three, good. Sterling knocks a three down. Lark's take a timeout generation is on the forefront because of different discoveries in genetics and chemistry. I have a professor that's passionate about it. It helps me kind of realize the potential of the field. What are problems that you as you grow up as students are going to have to deal with and the more informed you can be, the better prepared you're going to be. There's this constellation of different interests that students often have and are able to move out and, and head in different directions. And welcome back here to Yo Center. Sorry, I should have said something. That's okay. <laughs> we'll get that done. Yep. Omar was asking me why they changed the game to 5.30 on Friday night, which we will not have a broadcast of. So, that the JV was a late ad. Yes, that would be because of the talent show. Talent show. Yes, sir. Used to be a Thanksgiving staple during Thanksgiving weekend festivities, but no, no longer Thanksgiving weekend festivities here. I think a lot of people kind of want to go home, so. 80 to 64, Lark's trailing by 16. Give it up, Butler breaks the pressure. Good ball movement from the Grizzlies. Yeah. Foul whistled. Lucas Cumber picks up his first personal foul. And Juwan White will be at the free throw line to shoot two. Line 
Yep, Butler now in double bonus. The free throw by White, up and good. The second free throw coming up. Well, 2.13 left to go, down by 15. I cannot do simple addition right now for some reason. 17 points? 17, yeah, yeah. you're right. Is it, uh, is it too much to imagine to come back at this point? It's going to take a lot from the Larks here. Okay. I've seen stranger things in basketball. Yeah. 82 to 64 score. Two minutes ago, Larks are going to have to hit some threes. They trail by 18. Danny, back to Braden. Braden, all the way through the runner, in and out. And the rebound pulled down, and a foul whistled on Braden, and Braden picks up his first personal foul. That's foul number 12. White will be at the free throw line. The free throw coming up here for White. Anything's organized up. The free throw, nothing good for White. White now three of his last three. Actually, he's five, he's five of six tonight at the free throw stripe. All of his points coming here in the second half. Some very efficient shooting at the line. That one good. 12 points on the half for White. Danny Bradley spinning his way down, draws a foul, and Danny will shoot two. Other foul on number one, Jawan White. His third personal foul, 19 foul. White picks up his third personal. Danny Bradley at the line for Heston, shooting two. Danny's free throw, good. Checking in for Russell, number 45, Ian King. And number 23, Daddy and Dennis. Returning for the Larks, Lucas Comfort and Reese. So our next broadcast will be uh, November 13th, Tuesday, with Neosha coming to town. And what time will that be, Russell? Uh, six and eight. We've got both men's and women that night. Good to know. Free throw misses for Danny. They skip it over here, Fugit breaking the pressure, Dennis backs it out, and Reese commits a foul. That's the foul on 22, Reese Ebold. Jaden Lee at the free throw line, he's one for two tonight. Jaden Lee at the line, shooting two. Now Lark's trying to draw the game out as much as they can here, buying as much clock time as they can. But will it be enough? I'm afraid not at this point, but like I said, I've seen stranger things happen as Lee knocks down the free throw. Braden certainly quickly in the lineup now for the Larks. Yep. Very hard to imagine it happening down by 20, but we'll see what happens. The second free throw up and good. Jane Lee knocks down both free throws. 86-58. 86-65, a minute 40 to go. Danny, the other way, all the way in, lays it up and good. Danny Bradley, 13 now for Danny. Excuse me, 14 now for Danny. Pretty good showing for him. And Brayden guilty of the foul. So, Fuga at the free throw line. Free throw, too strong. Second chance coming up. Free throw misses and rebound, pulled down by the Larks. Danny, driving, spinning, lost it. 
Thorne gives it back to Fugit. Danny might have come down awkwardly on his ankle there. Looks like he was hopping coming a bit. Coming up a little bit gimpy. Yeah. Fugit driving. Dishing to King. King goes in and lays it up and in. Ian King scores for the Grizzlies. And this clock winding down 88 to 67. Cal Hartley in, missing from down low. In the corner, King. The long jumper for King, missing in the rebound. Follow up and good for Fugit. Keeping the foot on the accelerator here, certainly not letting up. 90 to 67. It was 65 to 58 at one point. And it's a 25 to 8 run here for the Larks. It's Kendall Pelton and Jacob Baker checking the lineup now. Yep. 25 left on the clock. I think it's pretty safe to say that this one's over. Yeah. Reese Nebel inside, cannot score. And no shot clock here. They're so going to dribble this yep. one out. We'll take a quick look at the scoring here. Okay. For the Larks. Grant Harding leading the way, 23 points for Grant. 14 for Danny Bradley, 14 for Sterling Hicks, 13 for Cal Hartley, two apiece for Derek McGee and Reese Niebel. That's going to do it for us, Jared. We'll be back next week, Tuesday, 6 and 8, right here on the Lark Network. For Jared Slava, I'm Rusty Witcher saying thank you and good night.